back to a late morning edition eat my shorts my apologies for my stunning lack of content this morning i've been busy we're right here folks at the freedom stain contemplating degrito gate back at the scene of the crime we just don't know but we had a good breakfast had spaghetti made with a uh, burger and breakfast sausage meat interesting combination worked out all right You know, I've had some thoughts as of late. Of course, everybody has a thought once in a while, right? I'm not talking about that hoe over there, right? We've had plenty of those, too. I think the worst tragedy of this whole last three-year period is our broken relationships with our own family. My story, for example, I never got along well with a lot of my family. It was just me, Mom, and Dad that got along well enough. And I have a couple of cousins that I don't hate, you know, that I get along with okay. With the division of our own household, you know, it had been happening for years for most of us. And I'm not going to throw anybody's name out there because it ain't none of my business. You know, it ain't their business to be told either. You know, a lot of us have failing relationships at home with our families, our loved ones, our kids, our our wives, or husbands, right? And of course, people always fought. You know, they've fought since they've been two people in the same fucking domicile. There have always been a fight. But the things we fight over now are different than a few years ago. If I'd have told you three years ago that your wife would leave you over taking a medical procedure, that was elective, right? Although it was mandated, it was still elective, okay? Would you have believed me? The vast majority of people would say no. And that's not the sole causal effect why, why relationships fail. People grow distant from one another, eventually get sick of each other's face, you know, shit like that. But I think that's the worst crime that's been committed during all this, aside from abusing the women, the children, the old folks, the non-combatants, the people that couldn't say no because they weren't strong enough. How many broken marriages and broken homes came from this sickness business going on? You know, last night I had fun on the voice call with the fellas, and I, uh, Got to play drunken minister. Now, I behaved myself last night, lady, so calm down, okay? I've not been naughty. But I got to join two friends with failing marriages to each other in a kind of a pseudo ceremony. I just ad hoc thought up, filling my thinking cup and lighting a lucky strike. So there is some good in the world, you know? How we all found each other on the internet, right? And yet, during the day, we have nothing in common with our family anymore. They're just bills to pay and mouths to feed. We'd love them, we'd fight for them, we'd kill for them, we'd die for them. We'd catch a bullet for them without even being asked. But we don't have a lot in common sometimes. Commonality, you know, that's key. Find like-minded folks and do like-minded things. And as always, if you don't like me impersonating a drunken minister after happy hour, you can eat my shorts and have a fantastic day.